other thing where they came in. They were like, you know what? We aren't just going for the simple sortie where most of the hits are, you know, a single hit, or if it is a multi-hit move, it is two hits. Instead, we got things like the Nair. The forward air, of course, being your typical two hit. The upbeat being similar to Roy, but then with a second optional extension. Um, and then you still also have the counter, which even in of itself is also another unique addition to other platform fighters, where normally you don't see this sort of, hey, this area is a no fun zone, no projectiles, call it a day. Instead, you see that addition to Clarence Kit, where it's this recognition that, hey, most of the time, how you play around sorties is having a strong projectile game. So let's give Claren this great counter that then at that point, you are going to no longer have those projectiles for an amount of time. And it's so much wonderful, wonderfully well thought out and planned character creation. And we're seeing it right now with the two new character additions in the Rival 2 with Fleet and Loxron. How, the, how their kids are going to interact with each other in game one here on the Ethereum Force. And loser semifinals, Sparks versus Ant. One character that really excels in the edge guard sequencing, and another that is really just kind of looking to to obliterate your entire existence at 70. And we, I say, I, I again, I, I made this <laughs> like 50 times already, but it, we, we saw with the set with Kodak just how true that is for, uh, for a player like Sparks behind the wheel. That being said, you know what? Ant ain't no stranger to early kills with those edge guards, and we saw it immediately. That second hit of upbeat, a very brutal kill move, and now we're just keeping the jungle going. That being said, we got a little bit of a B reversal with the meatball. Gonna be able to secure some advantage state, but Ant fighting right on out. All right, we're seeing right now just some soft little pokes out from Sparks, just trying to get these, uh, these small hits not really wanting to give Ant any extra credit, at least not any more extra credit, because one, once this percent might get a little too out of control, it's, uh, it's going to be dangerous. Ooh, off stage at 108, mm -hmm. almost gets that back and it's clean it up. Would have been nice to have, but you know what, Ant, still out here fighting and surviving. Love that arrow attempt to try to put some extra pressure, but... Didn't end up needing it. The flip shot not able to meet its mark. And now is Loxo able to get the jab to forward air. Can we get the kill here? All right, gets the meatball to connect, but no dice on the kill just yet. 109 and climbing. Gets the lava plume, able to get back onto the stage. Gets the rever the, gets the barbarian, is able to take the stock. Looking really good for Ant so far. Just has to get this kill. No, and there Woo! we're gonna see it the up air taking it out and just like that again like we saw before in the set prior with and how he likes to go for those really funny mix-ups those little like all right is it gonna be an up throw into a raw bear is it gonna be an up throw into an, an up air and in that case right there up throw up air cleans up the stock not mm -hmm. behind but Sparks already on answering with like 82% right now on to Ant's uh, second stock. We're going to see if we can clean it up or if it's going to wind up uh, spiraling out of control like it did with the first one. Love the up throw to the up air. Unable to go ahead and get the firm on the reverse hit of the back air. But it don't really matter. We are still in the driver's seat until the call out on that special pummel. You know what? We mentioned it earlier. We love that little Woo! addition to the pummel system. And now off stage, can we get the kill here for the Loxo Sparks? Where are we at? No, and fighting on through. Oh, able to get through that hitbox right before it pops up. 54 is not a lot, but it's still scary when you're off stage. It's back. The fourth oh, though, though, going to do it. Fourth though, killing at 148 and 70% on this last stock in game one, but Locks can make up the damage percent pretty quick. It's all about how we're going to find the find the kill for both of these characters. Locked at ledge, getting the forward air to come on through. The attempt at the downer oh. gets the second one, and we make it back. We do make it back, actually opting to just go full in onto the stage. Even if we eat a small punish, better than losing the first game. It really is, and wow, the tag coming through. And now the stamina locking him into shield for a little bit longer, but she is able to fight on through, but still cut off stage. The tech gets another one up and ready. We are so in this. Rivals players do be knowing how to tech them. 
Rival 22, we know how to attack. At least in this case. And that's super important. That is the difference between the game ending or the game not. But right there, catching with the up air is going to do it. Close game one, but Ant manages to pull it out and takes it. Yeah, still going like to be going ahead. And yeah, uh, it's ending that game off of that up air. Also, shout outs to Ant holding up a double set right now. <laughs> ah, you know. Well, we 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 do we do a little uh, we do a little bracketing, I suppose, as one might say. We 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 do we do a little funny. Hey, but, uh, you're game this nice at the game. I mean, yeah. When you when yeah when you gotta run it, you gotta run it, you know. And in this case, right now, Sparks is running it back to Ethereum Force for game number two. Alrighty, does avoid that F tilt, but it didn't matter after that first hit. Sparks able to fight on in, but now. And pushing him to the side. I do think this is one scary thing about this stage pick is the fact that ultimately if Ant does get their hands onto Sparks, they are going to be able to go ahead and push her all the way to that side and off stage very quickly. Oh boy, right there we're seeing again. Sparks, while like being able to keep the percents uh, relatively even, has really kind of been fighting from the corner for a lot of these games. Alrighty, it's a down throw forward air. Yep, yeah, not gonna be able to convert it into a full stock though, not yet. Locks is a big lad, he is not gonna fall so easily. Barks, oh, love that patience. Ooh. Almost killing at 100 there with that one. Ooh, the very up close and personal side. You gotta go ahead and fight their way through. And now he's gotta find a way down out of the air, but right now Sparks not allowing them to do that. Get the corner back onto the stage. Oh, oh um, was that an SP? I don't it, I don't think that's possible. It definitely looked like it. It was a very funky interaction there because he did connect with the lava plume. Just with a sour hit, so I don't really know. Maybe what that happened. was a trade. Maybe that was a trade. Like, oh, maybe. There. I don't yeah. know. Might have been. But, uh, speaking of, speaking still of, get the stock. Uh, yeah, still get the stock with a little good poke from the F tilt, too. Okay. Oh, Alrighty, gets a up quick tilt. 41. Uh, yep, yeah, gets a pump. I think Pearl likes that move. I, I, th I, th I think a good reason, to be honest. 64%, <laughs> real quick. 64%. Get, get away from the ledge. What are you doing over here? Ooh, getting out of the grab. Now, Sparks gets another one. Goes yeah. for the down throw. Can we secure the meatball? No, sir. And finding their way in. And now, can we get the edge guard Nair coming through? Can we stop him? Yeah, I love that dash back, by the way. We've seen so many different of those side beasts come through, but instead, Ant going to sadly be dropping that stock. Not quite sure what happened there, but I'm sure Sparks is definitely thankful for it. I think it might have just been a case of being a little too low for comfort. He got an unfortunate reversal there would take that stock, but right now, Ant said, all right, now, you know, that's fine. You can take the stock. I, I can still edge guard you. That's the important thing here. Yes, sir. Oh, Love that up air best. attempt, but... The shield grab able to come through. The now the F cut. Dude, it's, it's just one. so good. It, it really is. Like, honestly, Loxo's jab, his F tilt, fantastic tool. Able to just catch when people are trying to land. 67% already. And again, like, for, for featherweights, these percents can be so scary. No! Oh. That's okay. Real talk, that's a case of getting a little too lost in the sauce there. And just kind of grabbing the ledge out of necessity because if I don't grab the ledge, I might die. And and Sparks unfortunately dropping game two to an unfortunate SD. Do we run All it back right. again? We do. We do. Oh, we do a third time. Ethereum Force. You know they say third time's a charm, right? Exactly. This is this is where it starts, and now we are on to a possible reverse 3-0. I believe in the girl boss Sparks. She can do it, I believe. That being said, Ant is definitely not going to be an easy opponent to take on, all right? As they do get that up throw to the up air and keeps finding more and more damage. 38% pop the tornado to threaten it and almost getting the catch, but the maneuverability of Sparks looking so clean. Absolutely. But right now, Ant said, uh, that, that, that's nice that, like, you've got some cute movement, but, um... I'm fleet, so we're we're just gonna we're gonna edge guard for a little while. Yeah, how do you feel about that? 
really truly am fleet. Who knew? Yeah. 85% Sparks still stuck in the corner. They're just trying to find a way to get out of there. Managing to get closer to center, but gets grabbed and this tech chase is brutal. <laughs> fleet tech it chase really is. in 2024. That's crazy. Characters are kind of nutty with it. What can you say? Alrighty, love that dash thing to go ahead and force the shield off, but you know what? It did not matter. And at the ready, fully charging up that arrow, and now gonna have to pay the price from a little bit of a meatball, but still got the percent advantage, but finally getting the kill. Yeah. Caught that air dodge and was ready with the float there, just being like, all right, back air. And then just cleaning up that stock, and now looking to, oh my god, looking to maybe just take another one real quick. Hang on. 61? Resources? Dude. Resources? Gets back on stage, but still taking more damage from these forward air trains. Get up attack. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> Snatch just right out of the air. Yeah, it's like, get over here. What are you doing? What are you just like floating in front of me? Stop right there. Oh, speaking of stop right there. Oh, actually able you to make it, it back, back. That. That's insane. Yeah, that was insane. I did not think that uh, Amber was going to be able to make it back from that low. This character's stupid. <laughs> this character kind of crazy with it. Getting uh, just oh. around that back air, yeah. Oh, you going a little too high there. You're getting slapped by that back air right into the blast zone. Chased all the way Where are you going? Time. Where are you going? Exactly. Where, where are you going? Alrighty, love the pressure from the tornado. Gonna go ahead and back off. This has been a great adaptation from Ant during this game. We're just recognizing, hey, you want to do this side beat? Na na na. And now we are seeing the last stock for Sparks in this game. Possibly the last stock for Sparks in this tournament. All right, staying at the ledge for a second, just trying to, I guess, maybe get a little bit of composure, just kind of reset the mental, but. And said, all right, that's nice that you think you can do that. Uh, I'm still going to continue. <laughs> We're just going to go to the other side of the stage and do that. Oh, good special break. Able to finally get a hit in, but... Oh, wait. Oh, as I say that, 66. All righty. Oh, the... Go ahead and switch him up on that shield pressure, avoiding the shield grab. We saw a lot of those get sent out by Sparks earlier, and now... Coming in hot with these dash attacks, with these forward airs. Of course, that dash attack did just get a little bit of a buff, so shout outs to that knockback. And now, through, yeah. fighting through. This is looking so aggressive from Ant. Understanding that, hey, look, I want this game. I want this set. Maybe I want this tournament. I'm going to keep it moving. Oh, looking like it. Yeah, and that is going to do it off the top. A final nail in Sparks' tournament run. 3-0 means Ant moves on to fight in Losers Finals. Alrighty. Top three, baby. Top three. We got Fleet going up against my man, the myth, the legend, the or came from Gremlin, man. And then the winner of that has... Dude, I don't know how they're going to be able to fight off against Torna. But somebody's gonna have to do it. Someone is. Someone's one of those two is gonna have to do it. We, we we can't just we can't just not have someone do it. Well, now that you've said that, I think we can not have somebody do it. So. Uh yeah, I guess you're right. Someone else could, I guess, theoretically win the tournament. Maybe, maybe I don't know. You know, I the, look. I'm just and saying. And now from the top rope, Cyberhead. Oh, from the top rope. Oh my God! Watch, watch the steel chair! Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> I've never watched uh, a thing of wrestling in my life. <laughs> I, I've been watching it a bit more recently, and it, it's it's been a lot of fun. Oh, hey, I'm like glad we, you enjoy it, King. Yeah, uh, we are going to be getting Orkane versus Fleet, a matchup I have not had much time getting to practice or play myself. But honestly, in theory, would be kind of good for Fleet, I imagine. At least oh. in theory. In yeah, theory. it feels. It